dog. <laughs> if your dog is aggressive towards other dogs or people, it can be very worrying. Lottie is a five-year-old chocolate Labrador. She's a very loving dog and great with children. The only problem is she's not very keen on men. Lottie's owner, Helen, got her when she was just eight weeks old. Helen's a widow, so Lottie hasn't mixed with many men, and her aggression is becoming a real problem. Dog behaviour expert Jane Hanshaw has come along to offer some advice. Sounds like what she's doing the growling is she's saying, I am not comfortable with yeah. this situation. So really it's up to you as the owner to take control of it at that level before yeah. it escalates to the bouncing and the rearing and all of yeah. that. You have to take control and give us some alternative strategy. The first 16 weeks of your puppy's life are the most important part. It's called the socialisation period and it's vital that you get your puppy introduced to as many different types of people as he's ever going to meet. From tall men, possibly wearing fluorescent jackets, to small toddlers. If you don't do that, then part of your dog's education is missing and that can lead to problems in later life. Because Lottie hasn't met many men in her life, she's not confident around them. Her way of dealing with this is to keep men away, and it's working. It's time to see Lottie's behaviour in action. You know. <laughs> this is a perfect example of why Lottie feels unsure about men. Her tail may be wagging, but in dogs, this doesn't necessarily mean that they're happy to be approached. This stranger is leaning over her, and although she's obviously not happy, he won't take no for an answer. Jane wants Helen, as the owner, to take control of the situation. For this exercise, we're going to see how Lottie reacts to Steve, a fellow dog trainer. So if you see her, she's glancing and she's not comfortable. That's the first part. The eyes are going, the ears are going, and then she turns her head away, then she turns her body away. So if you don't take any notice of those, Helen, then what happens is she has to start that low growling, mm. and that's the next level up. She actually turns her body and say, I'm not very happy, I'm not very happy, and that just comes up and up and up and up and escalates to the point that she feels she's got to go, bang, 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 bang. I yeah. said I'm not very happy. By the time she gets to that, she's given you lots of body language before then. Lots of dogs have been labelled as dominant, but in actual fact what they are is fearful. What's vital if your dog's behaving aggressively is you find out just why it feels the need to behave like that. You need to seek the advice of a behaviour specialist who can unravel the problem, find out what your dog is fearful of and what's keeping that behaviour going. In Lottie's case, Jane's going to give Helen an alternative strategy so she knows how to deal with her aggressive behaviour. Helen will need to apply this strategy every time a man approaches. So the strategy we're going to use is we're going to put her in a sit when a person comes up and then you're going to just step between the person and the dog so that you're just taking control of the situation. Okay. Sit, and she can have a little treat for that. Yes. So you take control... You say, stay there, sit, and just step in front. Yeah. All right, so okay. let's walk around there. If you could just meet, but then stop when Helen tells you. Right, so setting off, okay. you're aware of your dog, you've seen yeah. a man. Now what are you thinking? I'm thinking and watching Lottie to see yeah. what reaction she's got. Right, can you just wait there? Lottie, yeah, sit. Lottie. Sit, Lottie. Lovely. Girl. Right, so you're just going to block there a little bit and you're going to give her something to do. Now, the distance you can have a conversation, yeah, but you're it. in charge of your dog. Yeah. And, she, and, she and look how relaxed worry. she's got because control. you've taken control of it. Yeah. So that's much, much more comfortable from her point of view. So the aim is, after all this training, she knows exactly what to do. She sees a stranger approaching, she sits behind you, she gets a treat and you keep her safe. Yeah. If you keep that strategy on for quite a few weeks, what will happen is it'll become automatic. Yeah. Less aggressive outbursts, more, this is what I do. With Lottie, Helen should now have a strategy to cope with her nervous aggression. However, it's important that she's consistent and rewards Lottie for calm behaviour around strangers. Equally, she must not allow strangers, even well-meaning ones, to invade Lottie's space. When you're socialising your puppy, it's very important to make it a positive experience. Your puppy needs to enjoy meeting all the different types of people, so don't let them prod them or poke them, rather get them to tickle them under the chin. Likewise, when you're introducing them to adult dogs, make sure that that adult dog is friendly as well as vaccinated, and therefore your puppy's not going to learn to become fearful of other dogs.